Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, I've got like a new list of different priority. I've been working on kind of expanding this. Uh, so list one. So core motion, peripheral motion, central nervous system. Uh, okay. Okay. It just comes up, or at least to begin with, um, just just old generic stress. So, <clears throat> so if we said if we want your stress level uh, like at zero, like negative stress, not positive stress, like exercise, that's fine. But like things that um, negative stress is what I call like. <clears throat> Uh, inappropriate stress. So if you're stressing about other people's choices, or if you're stressed about the weather, you know, things that are out of your control, that's like stupid stress, right? So um, uh, basically, we're responsible for our own choices, and everything out of, outside of that is kind of like stupid stress. It's it's investing emotional energy in things that we don't have control over. So, um, do you, do you think you have uh, things that would fall into that category? Okay. Yeah. So the last um, several months, I got really into preparedness and self reliance and watching all the videos and all the terrible things that are going to happen and like societal collapse and world war three and how to prepare and survive and all this stuff and i feel and that is a really dark headspace to be in it's just constantly thinking about oh i need to prepare how do i wake up you know and just like constantly like just looking at the next video that's going to scare the crap out of me which i've taken a break <laughs> from now for a few weeks but things will still pop up where it's like, watch this video about how, you know, nuclear war, whatever. And so I just stopped myself. I'm not watching anymore, but just like a lot recently, I'm like, I have no control. Like, just stop watching the videos. Like, don't watch them anymore. Just, you know, be aware of what's going on and like, you know, keep preparing a little bit here and there, but don't let it completely like consume me where I'm just like, cause yeah. I, it's been since I was like 16, I was journaling about World War Three, And I, I don't know, there's a lot of, there's some, it's, yeah, been something that I have been freaked out about for a really long time. Yeah. So now that there are some circumstances that could lead to that, it's just very overwhelming. So... <clears throat> Okay, so I'm completely at ease with what is happening in the world. Your first chakra is completely at ease. It's interesting because that's the survival chakra. It's based on feeling rooted and grounded and sense of order, you know, safety, security, basic survival needs is first chakra. So first chakra is completely at ease with everything going on. First chakra to second chakra. So down here, second chakra. Okay, so let's do some work. Sun and grass, anything else? Left hand, right, okay. First, middle finger. No, uh, it's going to be the right index finger, second chakra, right on the pubic bone. Sun and grass. <sighs> Completely at peace with everything going on in the world. I can row this boat gently down the stream merrily. Is that just below my navel? Right where the bone, yeah, so right where the soft part of your abdomen hits the, the, the bone, the pelvic bone, right on top of the, the pelvic bone. So if you push in pretty hard, you can feel it, the bone there. Right index finger, sun grass, it's still working. Yeah. So I deeply relax into a profound state of knowing. 
that everything is in divine perfection. Thank you, God. I don't know if you use the word God. Uh, thank you, universe, for... Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for helping me... Helping me know at the deepest level that everything is in divine perfection. Everything is always in a perfect state of uh, perfection. That perfection is the only possibility. It's not like God or the universe suddenly goes, oh, I screwed up. It's like everything. <clears throat> We're here to learn cause and effect, essentially. Cause and effect never screws up. <laughs> Karma never screws up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So our spirit, so if you identify as your spirit as opposed to your body, you're going to be fine. <laughs> right? your, your spirit will just come and incarnate again. and That'll be fine too. So Yeah, I like that, like about the, the row, row your boat. Like at the end, it's like life is but a dream and that's so true too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So even in a dream, you're still alive. Your consciousness is still awake. Right, right. Say to K, advanced technology for a second. We're going to uh, sun and grass, right index finger, but right in your belly button. Right index finger, sun and grass. Just dropping into that truth, sun and grass. <clears throat> the other way I work is through gratitude based affirmations. So I say thank you. Because if you give a gratitude statement, the universe kind of, it's like if I go, I'm so grateful that my body is just so incredibly healthy and vibrant and alive and healthy and strong. When you give a gratitude statement, you're implying that that's the reality. So it gets around your conscious mind resisting that that's the truth. So it's not like you're coming at it straight on. You're just, oh, I'm so grateful that I'm an incredible musician. I'm so grateful that, you know, the world has just embraced my music and it's becoming so incredibly uh, well known in the world. <laughs> so my conscious mind, if I said, my music is just becoming so my, it's like, no, nobody's heard your music. <laughs> but as a gratitude statement, it, it, it swims around the conscious blocks. Okay. Uh, let's stay BCDE. Void and pure intelligence. Same thing there. Thank you, God, for waking my subconscious mind up to the, to the truth that the universe never makes mistakes and everything is in divine perfection. Thank you for allowing me to rest peacefully and joyfully knowing that everything is in divine perfection. You know, one of the things I say is that you will know everything you need to know when you need to know it. So you became aware that you need to pre prepare for possibilities. And so that information came to you. So you're preparing for that. You know, and everything and everyone that's meant to survive this time is becoming aware of that and they're preparing for that. And uh, <clears throat> and those that are not going to be aware at this time, we can have compassion, which is what the, you know, that's what the <clears throat> Tibetan monks teach, you know, have compassion for those that were not awake, that succumb to the propaganda state decay advanced technology state sun and grass 
sun and grass, right middle finger, center of the heart, sun and grass. And they are spirits too, they'll come back wiser, smarter. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know, if we hold to this idea that death is a tragedy, you know, there's <clears throat> this hour, there's millions of animals being slaughtered. You know, we can get upset about that. I'm a vegan. I get upset about that. But it's like life is part of death is part of life. If you don't want death, don't <laughs> don't be born because <laughs> it's. You know, it's coming, you know, if not today, tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, so coming to peace with death, it's actually on my list of things that <clears throat> it's in the, uh, it's part of the teaching of Don Juan, the Carlos Castaneda books. It's see your death. Your death will wake you up at all bring you to the present moment. It's like, okay, there it is. <laughs> I don't know when it's coming for me, but, uh, but it, it will put things in perspective. So you live rightly today. You know, you don't get upset about the guy that cut you off. It's like, you know, you'll get up, you know, you'll put your mind on things that matter. I say we see the, the void and pure intelligence, right middle finger. So we're learning how to be at peace in an uncertain world. <laughs> in a world that <laughs> the guy going 100 might be coming up any second. <laughs> it's like, ah, okay. Let's see if you can. like you and I are you and I personally are we have so much in common we have music we have creativity we have this awareness of what's happening in the world you know I can be very grateful that we're spending this hour you know this yeah. is you know I through the internet through technology I never would have met you right you know, this is so cool. Let's say through so cool. Yeah. So let's say through so there's an advanced technology that's being called for here. Uh let's see. Uh master point therapy, uh alien technology, supreme being, supreme non being, sacred geometry. The Sri Yantra, the sacred geometry of the Sri Yantra is being called for. Do you know what that symbol is? Sri Yantra. Um in my chart I have a very uh an exciting version of it, but it's that symbol. Oh yeah, okay. So there's very many colorful artistic renditions of that. Let's see, I'll have you look at it. Okay, just look at that. Right middle finger, bring that into your heart. It incorporates the, all the different uh, geometrical patterns of all of sacred geometry. So it incorporates triangles, squares, pentagons, spirals, uh, 10 different dimensions that are uh, talked about in the Kabbalah, T 10 different dimensions, uh, curtains, essentially blockages to divine light that we need, that our spirit needs to break through in order to reclaim our awareness of enlightenment, our, 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 our awareness of our unity with, with the cosmos, let's say through K. Okay, master point. There's a book called The Power of Kabbalah. It's a, the Kabbalah is a very, it's the Jewish book of mysticism. <clears throat> People spend their whole lives trying to learn this book. Anyways, somebody wrote a book with like two page chapters. It's a, a uh, rabbi wrote this and it's very easy to very easy to understand 
chapters, Power of Kabbalah. <clears throat> it's a great book. You know, the Bible writes about how the world was created, right? In the book of Genesis, how the world was created. The Kabbalah goes into why the hell the world was created. <laughs> like, did God have a choice or was he ordered to? <laughs> mm, cool. you know, did he just want attention for, you know, his creation? <laughs> you know, it's a pretty cool book. Let's see. Okay. Uh, that's where I okay. Uh, oh, okay. So now what we're tapping into right middle finger is the intelligence of the fungal, the fungal world, right middle finger. How does that play into <clears throat> relaxing? Well, the <clears throat> we were talking about you know our, our soul, you know, being uh, <clears throat> eternal. Uh, recycling, <laughs> recycling of life. <clears throat> the fungal world is the recycling plant of the forest. So things that are unviable, dead wood, it will recycle that. It'll return it to its elements, and then so it can regrow again. You know, it brings it back to its minerals. <clears throat> so it breaks down things that are unviable. Our system of government potentially is has been unviable. You know the corruption, a corrupt a, a government that has become over overwhelmed by evil and corruption is unviable. It needs to be broken down so we can rebirth a constitution of a of a world governed by people that care about each other. You know. So the fungal world uh, knows that recycling process very well. So it, and it, it has these mycelium that interconnect. So it recognizes the unity and the interconnection of, of all life. The plant world, the fungal world. Uh, let's see, okay, fungal mycelium. And so we're gonna tap also, so that's clear. Tap into the black hole. So a black hole is the ultimate recycling place for stars. <clears throat> stars go into the black hole to die. So all this stress, all this inappropriate stress, the mental habits of stress, thinking that we can control things that we don't have control over. We're learning how to relax in a world of uncertainty. We're learning how to accept death as a possibility <clears throat> of the physical world <clears throat> and not be attached. So we're learning, this is the deepest learning of the law of detachment. And then we can create our vision of, of the world. We can create our vision for a world based on creativity, love, expression, health, honor, honor of children, honor of everyone, where we make business not to manipulate people, but to exchange. We can create that world from a place of love, not a place of fear, not a place of stress and distress. So we send all that energy of fear into the black hole, right, right in our heart and same finger, right middle finger, we invoke the white hole. So the, <clears throat> the black hole, the energy from the sun gets recycled down into the black hole and then gets rebirthed. See, the white hole is the birth canal for stars. We create a new universe through the white hole. <clears throat> so every day 
this vision that I just expressed or whatever your vision is, you put it out from this place of peace. You're rowing down the boat. You're rowing your boat towards a vision. <clears throat> you're seeing, you're projecting the world. You're projecting <clears throat> that vision. Musical festivals. Beautiful relationships. Uh, say 3k advanced technology okay so you're clear uh, q1234 to the core of your being all your organs joints connective tissue so we're tapping in so you're not clear in your connective tissue first second third so this stress still in the heart uh, sun and grass right middle finger we're anchoring in this this feeling sun and grass into all your connective tissues, all your, your muscles, your connective tissue, you're not holding tension, you're, you're at peace, you're at ease. The whole point of this work is to bring you to a state of ease, <clears throat> not the opposite of disease. <clears throat> The whole medical world thrives on disease. Its profit model relies on people being in disease. We're transforming that whole model. This whole pandemic is bringing awareness to the fact that that whole industry, which is controlling the media and controlling our government, <clears throat> is designed to create disease and they start with children. They start with the newborns. They inject poison into newborns. This is bringing awareness to that. It's happening so fast we can celebrate the explosion of awareness to the fact that that's what's happening. Despite all the pretty commercials, <clears throat> that's what's happening. Okay. Stay through K advanced technology. Okay, so our connective tissue is clear and completely at peace. What a beautiful system. <laughs> I give great thanks to Bill Gates and Anthony Fauci and the World Economic Forum, all these people that, <laughs> that accelerated this learning curve faster than you and I could ever have dreamed of. <laughs> right. You know. That's the place where we can laugh. We I mean, yeah. got to get back to laughter and yeah. you know, celebration and for you dance. I'm an awful yeah. dancer. So, you know, you, know, you dance, I'll enjoy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're clear at the connective tissue. All your chakras are clear and grounded in the truth that we're speaking here. All your, all your reflexology systems. So let's, Ground this into your reflexology systems, the hands, feet, ears, eyes, tongue, your teeth. All these have little maps of your whole system. So where should we clear your reflexology systems from? First, second, third chakra, fourth, fifth. To clear the reflexology system, we're going to do that from the sixth chakra. Sun and grass, right middle finger. Right middle finger right here. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for enabling me to drop into the the profound message, the profound spirit that it that it <clears throat> that's embodied in the song "Row, Row, Row Your Boat Gently Down the Stream." Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Sun and grass. Thank you for making me the embodiment of the consciousness of that song. <clears throat> and children sing it. It's it's a message that they should never lose. 
teach that song, teach them the message of that song, is to go deep into their psyche so that they live from that place of joy and that they never lose that. They never lose connection to their intuition, their internal guidance. <clears throat> that they can be the, the seedlings that create a new forest, create a new world. <clears throat> where we never, we, we never <clears throat> deceive them out of that message. Let's see if we can. For a sec, okay, so the aisle I want to do, okay, so your connective tissue, sorry, we're, uh, your Reflexology, sinless A through K advanced technology. Okay, see so that message is grounded. Once again, um, there's just some more work to be done. Right middle of your heart, right middle finger, uh, the black hole. I'm just gonna send any rigid residual <clears throat> tension that we just released from your reflexology systems. We'll send that into the black hole, right middle finger there. Okay. Now the word that's coming up is your essence, right middle finger. Your essence, your pure light, your lum your luminosity. <clears throat> it's kind of like uh, you know a, a, a butterfly that's just kind of shaking loose the cocoon. <clears throat> and your pure essence is coming through. Okay, your essence, level two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I haven't feel felt it go pop yet. So what you need to do here with your right middle finger, center of your heart and say, activate this. So say that. Yeah, say that out loud. Activate this. Let's see if that, okay. It wants it done in the sixth chakra as well, right middle finger here, right here, sixth chakra. Say that again. Activate this. Justin, anything similar? Okay. <clears throat> okay, list one, two, three. Ah, okay. List four, <clears throat> almost clear. Okay, need for attention. Very, very similar. <clears throat> so let's see. Supreme being. There's a lot I need to explain, but. <clears throat> The ultimate consciousness in the universe, I call the supreme being. But a supreme being, so for anything to exist, I might have mentioned this last time, you also have to have an opening or a space for it to exist. So I speak about the supreme being, but also the supreme non-being. So if you, if you want to have a star, you also have to have space. So, but the space is conscious as well. It's a male-female thing. So the, the male is the thing and the female is the opening. So <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so sometimes I, I ask, uh, should I surrender to the supreme being or the supreme non-being? You know, if I want to tap into the male energy or the female energy, so what's coming up as appropriate for you is the female energy, the supreme non-being, the ultimate consciousness of the... So if you say, um, I surrender control of my life to the supreme non-being, you go weak on that. 
So that's the last piece of this. It's, it's essentially the work that we just did, but uh, it seems to be distinct because it's calling to be done. Okay, Q1, 2, 3, 4, core, level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But it's being asked for uh, through your reflexology system. Uh, so uh, level 1, which is the four quarters of your body and mind, strong. Uh, your organs, joints, connective tissue, chakras, meridians reflexology systems don't quite get it yet so we're going to get that first second third right here center of the heart again the stay sun grass sun grass and the extended visible spectrum extended means from infrared to ultraviolet <clears throat> sun and grass plus the extended visible spectrum to Uh, the purpose is to surrender control of your life to this. So it's essentially saying, I will allow the supreme being of the universe, the highest consciousness, to guide, guide my life. Calling for that Sri Yantra symbol again, same place. Okay. <laughs> Black hole, white hole, okay, essence. Okay, once again, uh, uh, activate this, say that. Activate this. Beautiful. And at the sixth chakra, same thing. Activate this. <sighs> this one, two, three, four, five. against technologies okay <clears throat> these changes are stabilized integrated and saved holographically okay while you hold here hold back at the heart and just say uh, these changes have been stabilized integrated and saved holographically you don't have to say that just think that so we're updating all of your DNA so that they <clears throat> Save these changes at the DNA level. Okay. Changes are stabilized, integrated, and saved holographically. The quantum field's been updated. Uh, let's say sun and grass right at the heart. So essentially, we're asking the, uh, the quantum field to update these changes and recognize the new pattern in you. <clears throat> So the universe relates to you from the new pattern. So take it. <clears throat> Quantum fields been updated in all parallel universes through all time, all dimensions, sun and grass once again to update the Akashic record. Essentially, we want to change the record throughout all time so it recognizes this pattern not only is who you are now but who you've always been <laughs> because the past exists simultaneously it's kind of like a book the beginning exists even though you're reading the end the beginning still exists <laughs> these are sneaky way the old patterns can survive <laughs> we gotta Clear it throughout the entire lineage of time. <clears throat> all time, all dimensions recognizes this new pattern in you. Any adjustments? Okay. Okay. Once again, activate this. 
Activate this. All right, now that's complete. I want to do it with my name and then else. Else with Dino. So over the next week or so, just tune into the dietary changes that I um, suggested for you. And, and I want you to tune into what feels right to you because I'd like to see that get a little better. Your protein is still a little low. Um, fats, I, I can't remember. Let's see, we, we'd recommended, okay, so protein. I guess your fats were fine because I didn't write it down. But um, so, but the protein sources, so the nuts and the fish and the soy, medium amount of soy, small amount of quinoa. <clears throat> so just tune in to see if, if that feels, maybe just eat a meal or two like that and see how that feels to you. Yeah. Your body's ultimately your teacher. Right. So, <clears throat> okay, so let's see. We should wait more than a week to work on you, week and a half, wait more than, wait more. It's still testing is two weeks. That was a lot. How do you feel? Good, I think I, I'm not sure why, but I was feeling a little bit more inner resistance. Okay. Or, um, you know, the last time just, for, for, but not, I don't know why, but yeah, no, I feel, I feel very grounded for sure. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. I test to take a, take a walk. Maybe take a walk would be good. Yeah. Barefoot if you can. <laughs> I don't know where you're at, but <laughs> it's a little cold. It's not terrible. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's about it. Yeah, no, that was great. Thank you. Yeah, I feel very uh lots of like heat. Okay. No, grounded is great, you know. I mean <clears throat> Do you feel like the stress is gone? Yeah, I mean, I. Uh, Not that you felt stress before, but. Yeah, no, I, I feel an uh, um, an acceptance. Acceptance. Okay, great. Yeah, I want to take like a nap. Where it's funny because last time, I was like, I need to go for a run, ah. <laughs> and this time I'm like, wow, now I'm like really tired. Yeah, maybe so just kind of funny. Maybe just take a short walk and then you know lay down or whatever you feel like. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. no, I won't. I won't be able to lay down today. But yeah, uh, I just think it's funny how it can have like a you know different effect. Yeah, no, that's great. <clears throat>